Hi, I'm Rob with DRS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Watchmaster IP camera to a network. The first step is finding the IP address of your camera. From the desktop, click Start. Click Computer, then click Network. Here you will see a list of the devices that are connected to the network. Find Other Devices. You'll see the DRS Watchmaster IP camera listed. Right-click the camera icon. This opens a drop-down menu. Select Properties. Here we see the IP address assigned to the Watchmaster IP camera by the network DHCP server. Click the OK button. Now, double-click the camera icon. To sign in and access the camera, enter the default login credentials. The username is admin, in lowercase, and the password is 1234. The user interface for the Watchmaster IP camera opens. Across the top is the main menu. Click Setup. Then click Network. With its IP interface, your Watchmaster IP camera is interoperable with different devices in your video surveillance network. Next, click TCP IP settings. If you have DHCP in your network, you will notice the DHCP configuration parameters, IP address, subnet mask, gateway, DNS server, and hostname are all filled in automatically. If DHCP is not available and you're using a static configuration, you can populate these parameters manually. The hostname field can also be modified with a name of your choice. Click the Save Changes button. Click the OK button to confirm. You'll need to restart the camera. Click the Maintenance link. Click the Restart Camera link and click the Restart Camera button. Click OK to confirm the reboot. Log back in. Click the Setup link, then click Network. Now let's look at Ping Target. Use Ping Target to confirm that the camera is connected to the network and can get a response from another device in the network. In this case, the target is pool.ntp.org. Click the Save Changes and Ping Target button. Click the OK button. And observe the ping status as Pass or Fail. Next under Network is 802.1x. The Watchmaster IP is capable of 802.1x authentication. This is a standard for port-based network access control and provides an authentication mechanism to devices wishing to attach to a network. You have several authentication choices listed in the drop-down. Your selection will depend on the authentication type supported by your network server. Enter your username and password. Click the Save Changes button. Click the OK button. The Zero Network Configuration can be enabled if the automatic attempt to find the IP address via DHCP fails. This feature is disabled by default. That's it. Your camera is now connected and can communicate with other devices on the network. Thanks for watching.